Tires rubbing. He's going to have to probably get to pit road. He actually whacked it a couple of The 07 going around up there in three and four. Boyer has crashed. Yeah. Very possibly cut, cut the tire, a tire down. down. He did. I saw it snap. Caution is out, which is a huge break again for Tony Stewart in that 20 car. Not a good break for Clint Boyer, but for sure, Tony. Now, Kurt Busch and Jeff Gordon were side by side at the moment of caution. But what matters on the scoring chart is where they were at the last of the loop sensors that they crossed just prior to the caution. So Gordon should remain the leader as the pace car picks them up in turn two. But I think Tony's a good example of how easy it is to lose the draft here. You got to be well, up there in the middle. He just gets up a little uh, too high. Wide up top. Wall wide way up top. That's a that's a hard lick okay. in that wall at that speed. Wall wide there. Just hold your line trying to make it around to the pits or trying to ride it out there it goes yeah you see the right front tire look like may have gone first we saw the smoke from the tires I uh, question leaving him out he's had such a great year but these restrictor plate racetracks they have not been good to him remember he finished the Daytona 500 across the start finish line on his can cycle through these green flag stops it'll make it where it's a one-stop trouble race. Casey Mears and you know what? I'm not so sure this isn't a product. He, I think he was trying to get the pit road because he was one of the cars that needed the pit. Punted by Jimmy coming in. And it sounds like Poor he man, CB fired up. CB may fired have up. gotten turned by yeah, his teammate. But I definitely think Casey Mears was trying to get the pit road in this 25 car. That's what the spotter <laughs> indicated, Larry. Yeah. Let's see. He's and right uh, here. He is right, right in the up. front of the pack. But you know, Larry. Yeah. I mean, he's he's up a little high. Uh, man, that's a hard, that's a hard lick. Hit. But he was up a little bit too high there, trying to get. Uh, you know, he should have been a little low. My question would be. The other irony is that Tony Stewart, who's now steaming up the outside. Oh, trouble! Ricky Rudd in the wall. Trouble. Nima check around. Kyle Busch. You know what? I'm not so sure that that wasn't started. Oh, is that Dale? Jeff, no, Jeff, Jeff Burton, Burton, 31 car. Kyle Busch, another wreck today, just like yesterday. And the eight car right here. But the 96, Tony Raines, looks like he got up into Jimmy Johnson, the 48, initially off turn two, I believe, Daryl. I believe you're right, Larry. I, I, I saw the 48 move. Gosh, that's a hard lick by those two cars. Good but thing the safer, safer barrier, barrier is there again. Let's look from the rear bumper of Kevin Harvick's Penzoil Chevy. Oh. Man, look at Nemechek's car go airborne. And then uh, Kyle Busch's car goes airborne when it hits the, the rear wheels come off the ground. They're riding with Jeff Burton. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I, oh, gosh. That was when the five car came I, 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 Listen, y'all, I know you. You, you don't know what that feels like. Unless you've been in one of these crashes, you can't imagine how that hurts. The good news, Daryl, everybody is either jump all over him like a frog on the junior boat. Green flag. Johnson to the inside. And there goes Kurt Busch in the two car with him, pushing him. They're going to trap McMurray in the 26 on the high side. Boy, I'll say, look at him fan out. High, low, high, low. Somebody help me. Oh, there goes Stewart, the 20 to the high side with no help. They're three wide off. Turn trouble. Off. It's, trouble. Trouble. it's over. There's the caution. There is the caution right there. Only one attempt at this green white check. -up. And Stewart has crashed. While everyone lifted for the caution flag, Tony Stewart ended up in the wall. certainly know that Jeff Gordon, the 24 car. You see Gilliland, I just saw him cut down in front oh, of Tony. Kenseth got into Sauter. Sauter's still okay. Four wide. Four wide, and no, the 16 comes down, catches the 70, but there's action in front of these guys. Well, Elliot Sadler and the 16 got together. That's what caused the wreck, and but when Tony, everybody... Tony, right here, you see the 38 and Tony. Ooh, who tipped Gabe, David Gilliland around? Somebody must have... Uh, was it 26? Ouch. Ouch. Man, that's a hard, hard, hard hit, and we there's no it. safer barrier there. No, we may see from another angle who tipped Gilliland. Did he go way up there? I mean, the 
16. Biffle just came down on Elliott Sadler and Johnny Sauter of the 70 ended up being the victim there and Elliott Sadler was able to continue. NASCAR will determine at what moment they lit up the caution lights to freeze the field and end the race. Stuart very unhappy. 